Welcome to Anthem Culture Headquarters. We're here back for another session, Culture News today. A lot of information, a lot of news happening up on the site. It's been a lot of new developments. I've been here doing a lot of research personally on just countries around the world and just getting a better feel from various perspectives. So starting to grow my knowledge base on my own and even just reading through anthemculture.com like we're about to do in a second, you get to learn so much, just gain different perspectives pretty much about anywhere and everywhere that you want to know about. So let's get into it um, and make sure you actually leave a comment. Let me know a country you want to hear about and I'll be sure to put some news up on the site and share with you guys as well. So without further ado, anthemculture.com. Norwegian EDM DJ slash producer Kaigo just accomplished an incredible milestone on Spotify, reached a billion streams. He was the fastest, he's the first artist to reach it at the speed that he did. So shout out to Kaigo for making that happen. And now he's starting to get international recognition, opening up incredible venues, a recent one being the Barclays Center in New York City. So CNN Money got exclusive backstage access to get a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him as far as to talk about his music, his direction, and just pretty much how he feels about pretty much blowing up the fame at the speed that he has. So make sure you check more about that on anthemculture.com. So you know how you see a film at a film festival? That doesn't mean you can see it when you get back home. A lot of people experienced that with very popular film a couple years back, Dolores de Arena, aka Sandbox, Sand Dollar, and <laughs> Sand Dollars. And this film was in various film festivals all around the world, and just now is it being available, opened up for availability on Netflix for you to stream online. So a lot of fans of the film are happy about that, and I'm sure we're going to start seeing a lot of other films starting to come up, especially from the Dominican region, like this film came from. So make sure you read more about that on anthemculture.com. So China just put on pretty much a glimpse into the future, because the future is kind of already here, for their Spring Festival Gala, which is actually called one of the most view programs on TV with over 700 million viewers to the program just put together a collection of 500 robots over 500 robots and synchronized them all to do the same dance sequence and film the whole thing with drones flying overhead so imagine that sight just a bunch of robots drones all over the place Welcome to the future, like I said. <laughs> so read more about that on anthemculture.com. So there's this fast food chain that's very popular in the Philippines called Jollibee. It has over a, close to a thousand restaurants, fast food chain restaurants out there. And now they're starting to expand to the global market. Currently have just over a hundred and starting to see some slow increases pretty much because the world isn't familiar with Philippine food. Jollibee serves a lot of traditional dishes, so a lot of their current fan base are from the Philippines, uh, part of the Philippine culture, expats, whatever it may be, but now starting to expand to other parts of the world, um, they have to somehow educate the world, let the world taste the Philippine food so we could become fans of Jollibee so maybe they should hit up anthemculture.com <laughs> if you know somebody at Jollibee tell them to reach out info at anthemculture.com or tell them to leave a comment <laughs> but check more about that on anthemculture.com so there's this dance company incredible dance company called Mal Paso Dance Company out of Cuba that's touring the US for the first time Thanks to opening relationships between the U.S. and Cuba, we're starting to see a lot more intercultural activities starting to happen. So, Mal Paso is kicking off an incredible show lineup in Seattle. It's going to feature live music from Grammy Award winners, and also they're popularized because of their sort of 
style of dance and just storyline embodying the overall lifestyle of Cuba and what you would expect whenever you go out to Cuba. So make sure you read more about that and check them out on anthemculture.com. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can get all of these culture news today's right when they drop. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter to get some exclusive content. We're about to be including various quotes from different stories that people left on the site from different experiences around the world. So that'd be pretty cool to see. So look out for that. Make sure you keep checking back more news, more information, more culture, everything, merchandise, music, online information news. We got it covered. It's an entire lifestyle, you know. So make sure you continue to check out anthemculture.com. Shout out to all the culture heads. Appreciate culture.